welcome back any lovers today we are checking out the last flame this is gonna be the full version i know i posted the prologue that happened up last week but this is gonna be the full version it sent over a key and um this is just my favorite auto battler out right now honestly or, or easily one of them um this is just got so many heroes it's got so many synergies and ways that you can play around with the game the things that you could do the modifications you could do to the items the positioning just so many things that you can do to enjoy this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play this is a brand new account this way we start fresh so you guys get a fresh appeal from it and i'm gonna do the tutorial so we run through this so everything is done like you guys get a chance to be able to see how this game is ran every run is different because of all the heroes everything that you could do with the game the crafting of the items is really super cool absolutely love it so we're gonna hop in here check out the game for a little while if you do like it of course links down below it did just get released today so excited to be able to hop in here and get the full game and get a bunch of runs going because that's what's gonna happen <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm chugging Gatorade right now because my throat is on fire for some reason. I woke up this morning, I think I, I, think I slept in front of the fan, that's why. Alright, in this tutorial you will receive a few objectives to complete which will explain the basics of the last flame. You can accomplish them in any order, don't fear a rush to do them as soon as they appear. At all times, you can press tab on the bottom of the right corner to open the guidebook. You can also click on the objectives opening. Got it. So I get to pick two heroes. Here's HP and mana, the active ability and the passive ability. Heroes start with a passive, an active, and a unique stat. Every attack generates one mana. Mana regen generates mana passively over time. Heroes cast their active ability when their mana bar is full. You can view all your current heroes in the hero panel. Keybind H and click on the H on the bottom. Uh, while hovering over any tooltip, you press tab in or middle mouse button to display an advanced tooltip. There we go. So that's very cool. So we'll do this. That's what tab does right there. <laughs> so this is attack damage, the amount of damage you deal with attacks. This is the attack speed, how fast they attack, obviously. This is a critical strike chance. And this is a critical strike damage, like how much they do, obviously, if they do critical strike. And this is the mana regen, so they one base plus zero. They have regenerates mana every 10 seconds. So this is also something that I love um, about the game is it gives you kind of like a breakdown of what the character is too. So you're not just lost in, you know, lost in the sauce here. I can look at this character over here, Vinric, which first off, the name is so werewolf. He is a, a close up fighter. He specializes in dealing ethereal damage, a type of damage that I actually never dealt with on this game in my in my few runs that I've done on my other account. Um, a type of damage dealt from passives and items that is generally dealt every auto attack or every few auto attacks. This is specialized in dealing physical damage, which is dealt through auto attacks. Generally, auto attack damage, critical strike, and attack speed are the best attributes for attack damage dealers, although there are exceptions. I love that the game is just so helpful with that situation. He really is quite strong because that attack damage is 60, 65 though, and he's a tank. What kind of tank are you here? Attack speed, critical strike damage. Okay, so I think, I actually think that I might go Elios. Even though I really do like Venric, he's really nice. He looks like he's got some damage dealer. I kind of want to go Elios and I kind of want to go, now this just reminds me of Janna from, um, from World of Warcraft and I love it. I want her. She does spell damage, she summons creatures to the fight, and then she generates and utilizes frost on enemies, which I love. I do love pyromancers too, which is, it hurts me, but this one just looks so cool, and it comes with dragons, so I'm just like, yeah. When the fight starts, the hero summons two blue drakes who do not attack and die when the hero dies. The hero gains four spell power per summon on the battlefield. So, she's gonna be a summoner. The more that you summon, the more that you get with her. Um, I can utilize that later on with an item. The item, one of the items lets you summon two random creatures just because. <laughs> um, he gets life spiel, and that's his passive, I believe, right? That's the passive. This is the active. Cast natural guardians, increasing nearby allies' defense for six seconds. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go you. And you are blizzard dealing damage, enemies hit, inflicting four frosts. So this said, when you press tab, frost spell, spell damage is increased by 3% per frost on the enemy. Cool. Let's do that. This is awesome. This is your relics. 
you're gonna have 30% chance a uh, discount on everything in the shop that'd be really nice to start off with get this early and your shops are just awesome places to be elites lose 18% HP when the fight starts you can now research at the campfire choose a relic it uses two campfire actions I kind of like that too after your H fight you heal three of the flames down here and you get an additional uh, this which is a trophy now flame is your lifeblood when you lose a character or you lose a battle you lose flame after you lose 90 flame that's it this can be modified it can go up and you can restore it over time too as well at campfires and stuff like that uh trophies are how you this so your characters will gain experience after fights but this is kind of like a boost program kind of get your character up level quicker and that's really good so i really like this i really like this and i I really like these two, honestly. The Elite, I'm not too worried about. If I can do enough damage, I can do enough damage. I, I'll be fine with that. I kind of want to go with the, the... Let's go with the Research. Because then you get more Relics out of the way. Now, here is your classic roadmap here. So, good thing about it. Like, I said this about another game, too. When you click on them, or when you hover over them, it gives you an idea of where you're going to go. And I love that. Now, this is, this is going to be a... They have something a little different here. They have Normal, Difficult, and Elite, basically, for the fights. Normal is these, obviously. Difficult is here. And then Elite is right there. So, I want to go as many elites as I can in a row because the idea is the more elites that you get, the more relics, the better items, stuff like that. So, but I do like the campfire too. So I could go. Oh, I really do want to fight the star. Slightly harder. Enemies have 50% attack speed buff. Everyone rewards a bonus reward. This rewards a relic, and it's just a normal counter, an event, a campfire. I do kind of want to hit the campfire though. Because I'd like to see what the campfire offers in the sense of things. It looks like if I go this pathway, I won't get as many relics because I won't hit these two. But I'll still get a relic. I'll hit a shop where I could buy a relic potentially. And I also will have a this one right here. Although if I hit the campfire here, I can actually go this way. But this way I'll actually hit a campfire at the end, which is really good. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. Then we hit an event. This way we kind of hit everything on the way, so you guys get a chance to see everything on a run. Let's do that. All right, here's your first bad boy here. You're going to drag heroes to place on the elder hex. The last hero to be dropped from an enemy will redirect the enemy's focus to that hero. It only works if it's a nearby hex to the enemy. It's very useful to choose which heroes are getting targeted by which enemies. You can have up to five heroes on the battlefield during the preparation phase, which can be changed, by the way. You can get items that get you up to six or seven, which is really... Honestly, it's really funny to see how, how many heroes you can put in the battlefield. I like to face the enemies away in case they have an AoE. You can see some of the slime that does 33% of its max HP and max attack damage. So, yeah, I like facing it away. This way the, the casters don't have to worry about anything. This is kind of like a MMO kind of thing for me. Yeah, it's it's one of those <laughs> it's one of those things being a tank in MMOs, you face the enemies away from the party. So you get it, you get to recruit another hero. Let's see here, we have, this is another range caster, shields themselves and takes advantage of shields, which is cool. Um, let's see here, we have, every four attacks if the hero is above 25% HP, does not have a full shield, the hero loses 5% HP but gains a shield equal to 5% max HP. In addition, when the fight starts, the hero loses 25% max HP but gains a shield equal to 35%. So he's gaining a, a big, big shield. Cast shield strike on the furthest enemy. Can I do shield evaporate over time or does it stay? <laughs> shield is additional of HP that absorb damage in place of actual HP. When HP and shield reach zero, the hero is out of combat until the next fight. Okay. Shield caps at the hero's max HP. Cast shield strike on the furthest enemy dealing damage to nearby enemies. Shield strike scales with shield. 100% additional damage when a full when at full shield. That's kind of monster. It looks like it's it looks like it's a monster AoE. He might be really good. I played with Jalen. He's strong. He's actually very strong. And he shields the party. When the hero gets below 50% HP for the first time, they gain 12% lifesteal and 30 attack damage. Yeah, he is stupid strong he's not a tank but he is a great damage dealer cast shielding orbs giving the shield to all uh, heroes and increasing their attack damage by one percent of their total shield it's not bad actually and then i don't think i've ever done the xz protecting the party through self-healing 
When the hero gets or is below 50% max HP, they gain a shield equal to 15% of their max HP. Um, goes into super mode, increasing its lifesteal and attack speed for 5 seconds and taunting its current target. So he becomes, he kind of becomes a tank in a sense. I'm going to go with Jalen. I feel like Jalen's going to be strong. Here's your items. Now, obviously, your items will change things how everything works. Um, I'm going to go with heavy armor first so I can start equipping my... Oh, yeah, two. Nice. So I can start equipping my uh, tank and get my tank up. Let's go with that as well. I'm going to get my tank up a little bit. And let's going to get my damage dealer here up a little bit. Now, the cool thing, and you're going to see this later, is those items can become stronger over time. I have a, a forge over here. And as I start getting some crazy, awesome recipes, I can forge them onto these items and can basically combine them into a better item. I'm going to go up in my tank right here. Now, like they said before, you can, when you put somebody down, the last person you put down is what they're going to focus. I'm actually going to swap these. And we'll do that. This way my tank is tanking. Yeah, you see how much damage he's doing? Look at this. Look at that. He's already topping the damage charts already. And he shields us too, which is awesome. Recruit a hero again. Oh my god, he's so cute. Look at him. Specialized in providing support for the party. Generally, spell power and mana regen are great on supports. Dealing spell damage and heals the party. Every time the hero critical strikes with an attack, all heroes gain one attack speed. Cast Moonwrath on our current target. Female damage to all enemies hit and healing all heroes hit. That's not bad. This is another tank the frost tank and this is are you healing i'm looking for a healer there was a lightning spirit at our current target doing damage to all enemies hit and gaining 15 max hp for every shock on our target lightning spirit also scales with bonus max hp dealing one percent additional damage per 30. hmm And you're doing shock damage, right? Yeah. Um, you might be fun. Let's do you. Let's do you. I'm doing. I'm trying to do new champions that I've never used before. Um, just so I can like kind of, you know, I'm just kind of so I can start just working with things here. Let's go. Forging allows. Yep, see, now they're going to do me the forging. So now that's my first spell. Do you have enough HP for that? What's your HP right now? 1200. I actually might do that on you. So I pick an item. Pick an item. And I'm going to forge it. So it does forge onto them. And then I can just pop it back on the person right there. And there we go. And proceed. All right, next fight here. Active and passive abilities and effects can apply debuffs in enemies. Debuffs are displayed above their head. Debuffs and last flame are quite unique as they all synergize with specific damage types on stuns. Or stuns rather than dealing damage or having effects. On cast, uh, heroes have a 1.5% chance of per shot to stun their current target for one second. Ooh, I actually, that's a really awesome one actually. Okay, I want focus. I want focus the big old baddie here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Now, trick is to move everyone away from Steve. Now they're all focusing him. Ooh, I like the life steal on this guy. I like the life steal on this guy. Let's recruit a hero. This is one of my favorite characters. The farther there are, yeah, the farther they are, the more damage it does. And it stuns. One of my favorite heroes. But again, not trying to play heroes I've played. I'm trying to play heroes I haven't. Every attack, heroes have a 25% chance to increase their attack damage dealt by bleed. He's kind of cool. Predict strikes guarantee this effect. I like it. He's a deal. He's a dual damage dealer. 
Specialized in dealing ethereal damage. And then he fights at close range. Let's see. Every four seconds, the hero deals additional splash ethereal equals 10%. Inflicts two bleeds to enemies struck. Oh, see, I like that. Let's do that. Although they're super cool. Heals the party. Hero below. A hero gains 60 shield plus per summon on the battlefield. Bullet storm around here, dealing damage to nearby enemies and healing heroes in a bullet storm. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, why do you play, play close range with the gun? I don't know. They're both really cool. I, I do want her, but I'm I'm trying new heroes, like I said. I'm trying new heroes, so. Okay, I need some type of healing, so I'm going with her. Minus two max, minus eight percent. I like that though. Max speed plus max HP or critical strike chance and 75% strike damage. I don't want to reroll item reward right now though. Okay, we'll reward we'll reroll one just to complete the tutorial. We're gonna go with that. And we're gonna equip her with that. Hit you with the critical. And now, let's check this out. So I want to level up. This is five experience each, right? So now he levels up. Now they get a new trait. So I like that. That's fire and ice. It's cool. You get to pick a trait, and the trait is going to be permanent, obviously, for the whole thing. But it's cool because you're kind of building your characters here. Um, because I have a frost, I'm going to go ahead and go with that so he consumes frost. Let's level him up too. Every attack, the hero gains 4% attack speed. Every critical strike, the hero's critical strike chance is decreased by 1.5%. Or the hero gains 10% attack speed. I'm going to go with this because then you're just building up on attacks. That's really cool. And you're almost there. So now they're level twos. I said I was going to go to the... Yeah, I was going to go here. Now, you get to pick an origin which is going to change how your battle is going to go. Some things are really powerful. Some heroes are things are not. Some things are really good for certain synergies like stuns, summons, stuff like that. Some are really just a general really good thing. So this one is for every 50 shield done, all heroes gain ethereal, ethereal application. Uh, whenever a hero gets below 55% HP, the hero gains 35% attack damage, 25% lifesteal. I like that so far. Uh, the, uh, sorry, origins are global and permanent team buffs or effects. Picking and swapping origins is free. So every time I hit a campfire, I can pick an origin or swap to a new origin if I want to. Um, or I just keep the same origin I let. So all heroes gain lifesteal equal to 0.5% max HP of the hero with the highest max HP. I'm not sure who that is actually. 0.5%. So not that much basically. <laughs> I kind of like this one actually. Um, when a hero gets below, the hero gains. See, the hero with the highest max HP has an aura dealing spell damage equal to 40% of the team's max bonus max HP every three seconds. You have the max, right? Yeah, you have the max HP right now. So you have you would have the aura. It's not bad actually. Stun enemies take 75% more damage from all sources. Every four seconds, all heroes receive a heal equal to 200% of their max. Their 200% of the team's max mana. So that'd be six, seven, so that'd be what? Uh, 13, 23, 30, 37. So it'd be uh, 74, 74, 74 heal every three seconds or four seconds. That's not horrible. I either like the Fell Protector or the Reborn. I don't know. That's really cool because that's constant. And it's bonus max uh, HP. Did I get someone with a max HP? I forget. The bonus is 160 there. So if I could build up his, if I could build up his max HP, if I could build up his max HP, that could be a amazing aura. Because right now, 
And it's teams, too, so you know that's going to be building up. But right now, it's, uh, what, 67% or 67? I don't know, man. Both are really good. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go Fell Protector. I want to try it. You can now research the campfire. Let's research. Cogs two actions. So the rest is heal for 25 flame, which is this. And chance is upgrade a rare item into an epic item. But you do lose. Say so you're going to get more actions down the way. But you do enchant. You lose 15 flame, but you, you gain a monster item. And then research is find a relic. I kind of want to find a relic at this point in time. All heroes gain 160, 160 max HP and heal. That actually works so well with this. Heal 50 damage per frost enemy with the most frost every 4 seconds. That's really good with her. All heroes gain 70% or all heroes gain 90% critical strike damage. Dang. I'm going to leave mask because it works with this. Alright, now we get an event. Uh, while exploring the area, you discover a very dark cave. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six eyes are lurking at you from the shadows. You also notice a very interesting pouch of gold sitting right behind those six eyes. Hmm. What to do? Juke, dodge, juke again, steal and run. Gain 130 gold and flee. Or this one is 15 total and 130 gold. Let's fight. The biggest reason being is I want the trophies. Trophies are freaking awesome. They give you a chance to get ahead. They give a chance, they get you a chance to get way ahead of the competition and be like a monster. Click on the trophy icon. I just did that actually. Ranks two and four get new random passive. All the ranks give a tribute increase. I already did this in front of you. Oh, you swap items. You can drag items to your heroes and hero family. Like, put them. you can drag items to others. You can hold shift and drag, and you can swap them. I like that. <coughs> okay, they made it a lot of quality of life things that I like about the game. Okay, so two, four, six items. This is a two star, so I think that means they're elite. Yeah, we want to get the giant bat if we can first. No, everyone face away. There we go. Okay. Should be good to go now. I'll tell you one thing, that aura. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Oh, I lost flame. He died. He died. So as you see, he died. So I lost flame. When the wearer gets at or lower than 35% of their max HP, their current max mana is halved. Um, every four attacks, the wearer gains attack damage equal to 20% of their spell power. 12% Magic Steel. Magic Steel heals for a portion of the damage you deal with spells and ethereal damage. Hmm. I'll go with this one. Yeah, I need to get you set up, man. You are... You are weak right now. You are a little bit weak right now. Heroes do not die permanently. They revive after each fight. Hero deaths make you lose flame. If you lose a fight, your run is not lost, but you get less rewards and no bonus rewards. For instance, an elite fight that usually rewards an extra hero or relic won't be granting them on the lost fight. Bosses wake you lose increasing for each essential death. You lose the run if you get defeated by a boss. Yeah, here's the hard part. See, here's the we fought a middle, basically a middle difficulty there. Enemies get stronger for ranks and power level. Ranks and power level? Uh, increase the enemy's HP, attack damage, and spell damage. Additionally, power level also increases the enemy's tenacity. More resistance stuns. Enemies have enraged towers, uh, timers. Yeah, the enraged timer. I've been to a point where the enraged timer is, it's up there and it hurts. All right, you, you, and you. So you actually are the most difficult. So let me put you over here. I'm just going back. Oh, there's four corners. Crap. This is not going to be an easy fight. You're the star one, so I need you on there, though. <laughs> I'll separate you two, but you focus on this guy right here. That works there.
what's this passive again? It's the shield, right? Yeah, I want to have that as your thing here. What's that? Let's have this, because this is going to give that. Now, it keeps the, the way I love it, it keeps the stats. You're literally just forging. You're literally just forging stuff. I love that. Okay, that's good there. Um... Yeah, they're on they're on him. Okay. Maybe they're not. Maybe he just he just snapped, so I'm gonna try and make sure he deletes on him. We're doing well. Doing well so far. Alright, there we go. Tank tank went down. It's that whole that whole ethereal thing, man. That's really good. Alright, you just leveled up. Every attack, the hero has a 50% chance to stun its target. I love that. Every time the hero critical strikes with an attack, gain 5 gold. Or when gaining a shield from any source, the hero gains 1% attack speed for each hero and summon on the battlefield. Stacks 50, 50 times. That's monster. This could have been a really good shield run if I would have been able to plan it earlier ahead of time. Um, let's go with the stun and see if we can't get that roll in there. Money. Big item. Uncast, the wearer gains Paul. For every enemy currently targeting the wearer, the wearer gains 17 defense. This is a monster, especially when you upgrade into an epic item. It's ridiculous. Uncast, um, this one is the 35% 35% healed. The wearer gains plus 2% heal received for every bleed, the enemy with the highest bleed. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to see if I can't get an item to stag him up and really get him into a monster tank style. The first battle I've ever fought in this game... Or sorry, the first like run I ever played in this game was ridiculous. I literally did, I had a tank that was just, was outfitted to the T in defense and healing. It was such a good run. The tank would never go down. I was so impressed. Um, I wish I could recreate that. Physical damage is done through auto attacks. It can be increased by attack damage, critical strikes, and bleed. Spell damage is generally done through active abilities. It can be increased with spell power. If the frost bleed buff and increase in the rate at which you cast your active ability. Ethereal damage is done through items and effects. It can be increased by ethereal implications and the burn debuff. I like that they've kind of... So, in the beginning, this game was... It had, it had some confusing elements. Put it that way. I'm going to say that. It had some confusing elements. And I'm glad that they've kind of leaned away from that. I like that. I want to make sure he's on there. Which one has the higher HP? You do, and you have a heal. What's your defense? 35? 30. Yeah, we're gonna have you. We're gonna have you going in there. Yeah, they've kind of leaned away from that, and I like that because it everything kind of makes sense now. It really feels good now. Um, I think you could survive for a little bit, so I'm gonna put that on, but let's go ahead and start getting some levels in here. You know, let's get some levels in here here. Every five attacks, the hero heals all heroes for 20% attack damage. Yes. We want to stack attack damage on them. By below 60% HP, a 6% max HP, the hero gains 20% magic steal, which is great for him because isn't he the, the isn't he the no, I didn't I didn't take that character to die the shield. Uncast, the hero gains 10% attack speed. Let's go with that one. Everyone's level two now. Okay, then we pump our tank up. And our hero, our tank is going to get 10% life steal. And now they're level three, two. There we go. And there we go. Trophies done. The tank is holding up really well. Actually, the tank almost did him did it all by himself over there. I was impressed. Pick an item. So this is a monster shield. And oh, I didn't realize it was spell power. He's an attack damage person. Dang. Okay, for no. I misread it. Is 
you don't need any. You don't need anything. You have 18% lifesteal, though. That's awesome. You know? You are... I want that attack speed faster over there because... That's going to be... I want her attacking faster because that's going to be a really good thing for me later on. To... Um, you continue to have her up because the faster she gets the bullet, it's more appealing. So now your defense, and then for every enemy currently targeting the wearer, you get more defense. So now you reduce damage by 42% plus whatever we get next. So you're gonna be going crazy. All enemies start with 15 shocks, but enemies now have a shock cap of 15. All here is gain 1% attack speed for every 100 gold you have. All enemies. Start with 15 bleeds, but enemies now have a bleed cap of 15. I'll do that because I don't have any bleeders. So it's like free bleed. You want to go hard here? All right, I went to the corner. Thank you. Huh, y'all ready for this? Jesus. Okay, for every person targeted him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six people? That means his defense goes up to an astounding amount. Go. 156. 156. That means he takes, like, no damage. Outstanding. Minus 10% attack speed? I could put that on him, too. Every attack, the wearer gains 50% or 50 max HP, stacks 15 times. At, let's see here, every four attacks, the wearer gains one mana regen. Yeah, I gotta go with this for him. That'll be his last item. Swap two passives allows you to change a passive on the hero from three other random passives or keep the reroll passive. Choose one, three hero to join your party, additionally gain four. Um... I don't know, I really can't roll any of them actually. Let's choose one and get four, I guess. He's really good. I love him. He's a bleeder. We're not bleeders as um a speed person. Nova dealing damage to nearby enemies and inflicting two bleeds. He's the bleeder. There's the bleeder right there. <clears throat> um I'm gonna This is the water monster, right? This guy I had last time. He was pretty decent. I'll put him on the bench. You have a bench down here. You get a relic that you could summon another car another creature too. So let's shop. I'm looking for a very good defensive item, like a base defensive item, so I could put that other thing on. Also, if you see duplicates of your characters in here. You can buy them, and they gain experience. He's really good. I like him, too. Um, let's see here. Every second, consume the wearer's HP equal to 2% max HP to deal spell damage to all nearby enemies equal to 6 times the HP consumed. Um, the wearer's attacks have a chance to inflict one frost on all enemies. The wearer either gains or two mana regen at random. 50-50. That's pretty good, actually. Let's go with the Nova Shield because I can equip that and then uh, add that on there. Let's do this. with this I have a plan I don't buy that too as well all right forge hit shield there we go forge that that's my last item on my thing and then I have this 
This forge. Okay, power one. Proceed. Okay, so we're going to the boss now. I don't know if I've ever fought this guy yet. Heroes and enemies always target the closest hero with their auto attacks, but what about their spells? Some spells have specific targeting, for instance, cast X on the current target, cast X on the furthest enemy, cast X on the lowest. Most spells don't have specific targeting, in which case they will use best targeting. Best targeting will prioritize the highest number of targets within the spell area. If the highest number of targets are the same, the closest group to the caster will prioritize. Take advantage of the best targeting system is crucial to hit many enemies as possible. Got it. Cool. All right, you have every eight seconds. Rash calls the troops, summoning four Rash's mercenaries over there. Mercenaries have eight percent of Rash's max HP, fifty percent of Mash's attack, and their first attack inflicts ten corruption and taunts their target. Okay, so we're. Doom Strike is split between the target and nearby heroes. The damage is increased by 10% per mercenary alive. Okay, this is going to be a fun one here. Okay, so we do this. All the summonings over here, too. Go this. She's over here. You're over here. You're here. You're over here. You are getting a spell power. You are getting this. And you are getting this, sir. And hopefully that's enough to uh, hold up. I think that's my best. I think we're going to see if we can't level up some people here. 3-3. Three, three. We're going to go level up you. And we leave you guys in the dust, apparently. Alright. Here we go. First boss. Oh, he hits. Oh, he hits hard. Yeah, all my melee are in the in the tank zone here, so they're in the da the damage zone where it's good. You're doing well, and that bullet storm is awesome. That was good. That was the fight. Uh, you could slow it down too, but I just like I just like having it there. Recruit a hero. I don't know. Do I want to have a self hero? Inflict shocks. Apply stuns. He's super cool. Silas. When the hero, vampiric instincts, when the hero gets or is below 50% max HP, they inflict 8 bleed on all enemies. I like, I'm just gonna pick him because he's a vampire. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm, I picked him because he's a vampire. I didn't even look at everything else. Every attack, the wearer gains 6% healer received. Um, the wearer gains 10 spell power for every mana regen. The wearer's attacks deal splash, I throw damage, apply 30% to attack damage to the current target and nearby enemies. Like that one. That sounds really cool, actually. Boom. My first epic. Let's go. There you go. And we get to pick another relic. After, after each fight or when entering a campfire, if you're below 42, heal 16. That's monster. When you, uh, when you, their fight starts, all heroes gain one spell power plus 3% spell power per stack of enchanted feather. Every floor visited, you gain one stack of enchanted feather. Whenever you enter a campfire, it loses half its stacks. Oh, I don't like that. You have a 65% chance to obtain a legendary recipe reward from elite fights. When victorious, you can now reroll and refill items at the shop for 50 gold. Don't shovel. I'm fine with that. I actually like this group. This group's going well. This group's going very well. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining me for the Indie Buffet. Thank you so, everyone, for every that everyone subscribed. If you have subscribed to the channel, there's a button down below. If you, uh, thank you all the members and the Patreon supporters as well that continue to help this channel grow and, and survive. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel beyond subscribing, there is a join button and a Patreon link down below. Lead you straight there in ways you to support the channel on a monetary value. Thank you again for all the members, and thank you so much for supporting the Indie Buffet. Where we'll help you find your next favorite indie. Peace.